thirst. Our thirst represents something different than all the other five words he said. Amen. They represent something that is totally transformative. It is his last will and testament on this side of the grave. For the first time, he expresses a need and desire. All of the other words were unselfish, placing others before him. But this word was a personal word. He said for the first time, I am thirsty. And I want to tell somebody out of all the hell you've been through, you ain't dead yet. Anybody remember the movie Color Purple? The man told us that you're black and you're ugly and you're broke and you're poor. And the one thing she turned around and said, I might be black, I might be ugly, and I might be poor, but I'm still here. I came to tell somebody, Jesus said from the cross, I might be bloody, I might be hanging on a cross, I might be thirsty, but I'm still here. Why don't you look at somebody and say, neighbor, don't go nowhere. Stay here until your change comes. And I've come to discover that there are some things in life that are just too important to leave incomplete. The good news is, though, that the greatest finisher of all was Jesus Christ. Whatever, y'all ain't saying nothing. He, he, he's a finisher. And, and the good news is he'll help you and I finish. It gets hard to keep going. It, it's just hard to keep pushing and pressing. It's hard sometimes. I ain't the only one that's got a testimony that every now and then life gets hard. And, and, and I feel like throwing in the towel. And I feel like giving up. And I feel like saying I'm done with it. I'm through with it. I'm leaving. I ain't coming back. But the good news is God will give you the ability to keep going and help you finish. I ain't got no help in here. But you ought to hear God every now and then speaking to you saying, child, I'm here. Child of God, I know it hurts right now. Child of God, I know you're struggling right now. But we're going to finish this together. You can't work but one shift. <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy. I needed to hear that for myself. God works every shift. He works the morning shift. He works the evening shift. He works the night shift. Is there anybody that need God to do something and know that God never needs to go to sleep and get any rest? He works whenever you need him. He fights to win. He, he fights to win. He, I don't know what you're fighting in your life, but you better ask Jesus to fight for you because he fights to win. He can beat cancer. He can beat frustration. He can beat divorce. He can beat high blood pressure. He can beat AIDS. He can beat diabetes. He can beat anything going on in your life. You better watch who you trust. I'm glad that after Jesus put his trust in the Savior, everything was secure. My soul was secure. I put oppression in his hand. I put trouble in his hand. I put desire in his hand. I put sickness in his hand. Oh, in his hand. Because whatever I need, God got it. Because he paid the price. He was both the priest and the sacrifice at the same time. Yes, for I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor power, nor things present, things to come, nor height, nor death, nor any other creature shall be able to separate me from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus say oh, in his hand all of my troubles all of my trials all of my disappointments is in his hand because all power is in his hand say say